parliament exonerated all the political leaders implicated in the Park Chogam probe report, an action that infuriated civil society organizations which accused parliament for betraying the public trust. It has also sent a clear signal that high level grand corruption is accepted in Uganda. The civil society organizations grouped and a campaign codenamed Respect Your Honor and Return Our Money took their grievances against that decision to the IGG's office. They had a list of seven demands on how graft should be dealt with, among them the dismissal of implicated ministers and not appointing them in the next cabinet. The president must leave the talk and implement his, his policy of zero tolerance of corruption by invoking his powers as appointing authority to dismiss all ministers involved in this scandalous act. However, the IGG told them he is still investigating the Chogam report but says he is facing challenges due to its failure to present substantial evidence. Evidence of parliament and the one of auditor general cannot be used actually in themselves in the court for purpose of prosecution. He cited some complexities, for instance, gathering information about the BMW vehicles which were procured by Motor Care from Germany. A vehicle manufactured by a company, Germany, shipped from France by a freighter based in Zimbabwe on the instructions of somebody in London engaged by the supplier, first consigned to Kea and Kea in Denmark. Kea and Kea in Denmark reconsigns it to Motokea in Uganda. Motokea in Uganda delivers it to Ministry of Works. That kind of network. If you want to conduct criminal investigation, you have to travel to all these places. Because it's a syndicate. It's, it's totally syndicated, both by public and private players. Yeah. You know? So it seems to me, and, and, and really this is a good meeting for me, because it's very clear to me that the problem is not technical capacity even. It's not even, it's political. The civil society organizations who had initially threatened legal action have now agreed not to pursue that line because of the technicalities involved. Instead, they plan to organize a series of workshops to sensitize the public on this scandal and how much it has cost the taxpayer in terms of service delivery. Hilara Yesiga, NTV.